guys, welcome to a brand new week. I slept way in today, and quite literally, the last week's vlog ended five minutes ago. <laughs> I forgot to end it. It comes up more often now, huh? I need to be more careful with that. But yeah, no, I slept in quite a bit today. Uh, woke up, had some lunch, sushi, I had a mad craving for it. It's been good, I haven't had sushi in a long time. And I haven't spent much money at work buying lunch either, so I'm pretty good. I'm very surprised. Um, and then, uh, right now, Bugs took the edit of the vlog very late. Ugh, it's gonna go up very late. But I'll still make it probably before 9 or something. Trackpad battery's low. Okay, that's great to know. <laughs> um, yesterday, as I said, I had inventory. We stayed. We, it went really smoothly. I don't know if it went well. I'll find out tomorrow when I go to work. It was also my last shift, or a lot of people's last shift with Chris yesterday. I think I explained this. I'm gonna miss Chris. It was a great an honor to work with him. He's a lot of fun. He's hard working. He's a perfectionist. Like, I'm gonna miss working with him. Funny, funny guy. At least the back room won't have, like, holes all over my boxes anymore now. He was also very destructive at work. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him, but he's gonna do great things. He's gonna succeed whatever he's gonna do, because he's very hard working. So, I wish him all the best. Hopefully, um, he'll come back on the vlogs soon. I'm supposed to film a cooking video with Chris. Um, so I'm probably still going to ask him for that before he leaves for, um, Victoria where he needs to go, so. <laughs> Not the last time I see Chris, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to edit the vlog right now, but nothing else planned. It's like, absolutely disgusting outside. It's still raining a lot. I was going to go for a long walk because I got back into Pokemon Go because of Takumi. Because the new generation of Pokemon got released and all that stuff. So I might, or might not, I'll see how the weather is in noticed I failed completely to vlog yesterday. Basically what happened was, I don't know, lately I've been having trouble sleeping, but then again, not really. So anyway, basically uh, I got home from work on Tuesday and I grabbed a shower and then I was laying in bed, looking at my phone, and the next thing I knew I fell asleep because I was so tired. I woke up 30 minutes later, so tired, so basically I got up, brushed my teeth, and went to bed. But it wasn't that early, and it was around 11 p.m., but because of that, I didn't, st I still, how do I explain this? I still slept until the next, very next day, even though I slept so early, because I wasn't fully asleep. I would sleep for like two hours, wake up briefly, and then sleep again, wake up, sleep, wake up. So I wasn't actually fully asleep. I didn't, I think, achieve REM sleep once. I just wake up and I'm like, oh, I feel uncomfortable, and then it passes and then I fall asleep again. <laughs> so when um, someone called me really early in the morning for some help for work, I woke up and I didn't sound groggy. I was just like, huh, hello? <laughs> so it was kind of weird because I don't think I achieved REM sleep, so that explains why I'm so tired. Um, I was talking to some people. People probably think it's because my diet has been quite... I bought a lot of food lately because I didn't have time to cook and prep meal prep, so I bought some lunch at uh, work and stuff. And there's a lot of processed food, so that could have been altered my um, <laughs> digestion a bit, which causes my acid reflux or whatever. I don't know the side of everything, but I think it might be the food I'm eating. So today I chucked a lot of water, and I have a day off tomorrow, so hopefully I'm just gonna fall asleep. today. Of course, with my apartment, I don't get much natural light in here because my the sun shines behind my building. But it's so nice. I went to Steveston. 
Uh, not because I just went to a grocery shop, because you know I like grocery shopping at night. It's because I had to stop by Ninkaido because I had to pick up um, some cards and a gift because um, my manager got promoted and she's leaving soon, so I got her a little something and I'm gonna get the team to sign the card. So as I was out there, I might as well pick up groceries, right? Um, it reminded me how much I don't like shopping during these hours. <laughs> we all know I like shopping either at 5 to 6 p.m. or at night because it's less people. There's too many people and everyone's, everyone's stupid. <laughs> I picked up some essentials just to do some more meal prep. Looks like I got things I'm not supposed to get. I got some canned tuna. I got some deli meat so I can make sandwiches. And then I got a lot of chicken thighs again. I find that I like to buy the bulk chicken thighs because I can just cut them off and just serve rice and they're good. Pork chops are, when I make pork chops, they're hit, it's a hit or miss. It's either it works out very well or it's very dry. So yeah. And then because I was hungry, I picked up a chicken pot pie. This one's different, it's a butter chicken pot pie. So I was like, oh, intriguing, I'll try it. If it sucks, it sucks. Uh, my kitchen is a complete mess, so I'm probably not cooking today, but it's okay. I'm allowed to do that once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put this all in the fridge. As you just saw, I just did some editing. I am falling behind on my OK Drama Time video because I said I want to post at least one video a month. The month is like almost ending and I'm just starting to do subtitles. <laughs> so I need to focus on a little bit, which I did. Um, right now I'm just winding down for the day. I actually didn't play any video games at home. I get eight, had a shower, and then I just started editing. Um, I'm just going to wind down now. I'm just going to watch something on Netflix. My PlayStation needs to update, so it's updating. So I figured I would talk about something else, because I realized I forgot to show what I bought my manager. So she got promoted and she's transferring locations. So um, I got her um, cards. I got two, because I know that there's a lot of us and I want all of us to sign it. Well, all the staff that she's worked with for a long time. I got, oh, can I do this with one hand, hold on. I got this one with the white rabbit candy, because she likes it. I don't know if she likes it, but she eats it. It's really cute. And then this one just says Simply You. It was really cute. Um, the quality of these are really, really good. The cards. I got them from Ninkaido. They're not cheap. <laughs> but I got two because there's so many of us. And I want people to write purposely small or not write enough. Because oh, they're limited to the, what they can write. So I don't want that. So that's why I got two. Um, some of us signed it already. I need to get the rest to sign it this weekend. Not too bad. Um, her last day is Tuesday. Which is the set of state I wish I see her. So okay with that. And then I also bought her this really cute ceramic mug. I don't want to open the packaging. It's the one you saw in my vlog when it was in Ankaido. So, technically I saw it, but yeah. Come on, I saw faster. But yeah. I'm probably going to start a new K-drama tonight, because I just finished another one on my to-watch list. I just finished um, 30 but 17, or still 17. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would enjoy it. And um, I haven't decided... Well, I've, kind of decide what to watch next. It's either going to be Abyss or... I forgot the other one. <laughs> Abyss because, you know, my pattern so far is watching all of An Hyo Sop's um, K-dramas right now because <laughs> I'm having his withdrawals right now because I have to wait every single Monday and Tuesday to watch new episodes of Business Proposal. So, having a bit of withdrawals, but not anymore. <laughs> his dramas have all been pretty good. I've heard mixed things about Abyss. But I usually don't let that sway my decision making. I usually watch it on my own if I'm interested in. So, yeah. I'm going to start that tonight. I'll probably watch a bit of it and then probably go to bed because I'm tired. And I've been chugging water like crazy. 
I mean, it's also affecting my sleep is because I'm drinking a lot of processed sugary stuff too. So I haven't been drinking enough water, so I'm chugging a lot of water. But, yeah. The day started out with work at early in the morning and then I came home, relaxed a bit, a friend came over, uh, we made dinner, had dinner, had a good catch up. Um, what am I doing? Uh, I had to use my fan earlier because you're cooking a lot of stuff on the stove and my annoying smoke alarm is very sensitive so I blow um, cold air up. Where did I put this? <laughs> I'm literally drawing a blank. Okay, I'll leave it here for now and try to figure it out. And then after dinner, we cleaned out and then we chatted some more. It was good to catch up with him. Um, uh, I started to vlog. Again, it's one of my friends that doesn't feel comfortable vlogging. I respect that. Um, don't want to shove a camera in the face. Uh, we basically had salmon, some chicken, and a beef. Um, I think we were hungry and we weren't paying attention. So the beef was kind of undercooked. But as soon as we seared it off again, it was totally fine. And then we had some rice, and then we bought, he bought the aloe drink. I'm really hesitant drinking aloe drinks because it's pumped full of sugar, especially cane sugar. So it's not that healthy. But aloe is good for you, though, especially for digestion. So uh, we had some leftover. I'm glad. And then he showed me that a good thing to do drink with this is have aloe. And then if you have lemons around, put some lemons in it. It actually makes it taste even more refreshing. And I think it takes a bit of the sweetness out of it because they put a lot in here. Because aloe is bitter. I've drunk uh, like aloe drinks without the sugar and it is quite bitter, but it doesn't make you feel guilty after drinking it. The health benefits are still there regardless, but you know, the fat. <laughs> and then I tried this do barbecue sauce too and it was really, really good. It's made by this company, so I'm like, oh, this company. It's really, really good. We put some on the spinach, along with the proteins, and the spinach was so good. Like, for once in my life, I liked eating vegetables. <laughs> but, yeah, I put all this stuff in the fridge. I put some plastic wrap on this, so it's leftover rice, some leftover food, but yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Why is this sticky? Okay, I'll wipe my fridge, too. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... I don't have anything planned for my day off. Tomorrow's gonna be my last Monday day off for a while because, um, as I mentioned, ooh, as I mentioned, uh, my manager got promoted and she's moving to a different store, so I have to work Mondays for the time being. I don't know what's gonna happen to me, so we'll find out. So I might not even get Mondays off after all this, anyway. But yeah, but until then, I'm not gonna get it myself. I'm not gonna think anything. Things happen, things happen. I'm not gonna like put, put all my. I say I'm not gonna put all my apples in a basket. Is that the same? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna tidy up that and then I'll watch an episode of Abyss. Um, not the biggest fan of Abyss. It's kind. Of, let's put it this way. I predicted the whole story in the second episode, and it's all guesses. But I confirmed with Ina and Aaron, and they're like, "Yeah, that's right." You know a K-drama story is not good when you can predict everything in the first episode. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still gonna watch it because I, I am in love with An Kyo Soap right now. Mr. Paul An. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do that. So I'll probably end the week here. So I'll see you all next week.